This is Sirisi, a member of parliament, John Waluhe. Let me show you a better picture of him. That's him right there. He's on the spot tonight over, get this, a 297 million shillings maize cash fraud. So in what can be described as a high-profile corruption conviction, Sirisi, a member of parliament, John Waluhe, has been found guilty in the 297 million maize fraud case. The MP now risks losing his seat after the court established that he obtained money through the National Cereals and Produce Board by four pretense. Waluke has been remanded at the Kilelesha police station pending sentencing on Thursday. Here now is Elfas Lagat with the details. Sirisia lawmaker John Waluke is awaiting the hour of reckoning. He sat pensively in one of the open anti-corruption courts at Milimani. Trial magistrate Elizabeth Juma made the landmark ruling pronouncing the legislator guilty of fraud involving 297 million shillings May's corruption case. In her ruling, the magistrate said the prosecution had proved beyond reasonable doubt that the MP, alongside Grace Wakungu, who is a co-director with Waluke at Erad Supplies and General Contractors, acquired millions of shillings by false pretense. The presumption of innocence has been removed with this conviction. And I agree with the, the prosecution that the state has. The charges read in part that on or about March 19, 2013, Erad Supplies and General Contractors fraudulently acquired 297 million shillings purporting to be cost for storage of 40,000 tons of white maize. Yeah. Waluke has however been acquitted in two counts of uttering documents by false pretense. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions in a tweet this evening said, and I quote, the case has taken less than two years to conclude. It is also among the first cases approved for prosecution by the DPP Nudin Haji upon taking office in April 2018. Waluke will be remanded at Kilelesha police station awaiting to know his fate on Thursday when he, alongside Grace Wakungu, will be sentenced. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.